Everyone in the industry know that idle time is bad. You shouldn't have uh, extended idle time of the machinery. In reality, a lot of cases it is that the machines are standing and idling when they shouldn't. First of all, we have the environmental impact. That is a huge topic in these days. But also the fuel cost, the service cost, and also if you look at the second-hand value. You shouldn't have hours that the machine is not producing. And if you're looking at it on a Volvo 180, the sum is around 45 euros per hour if you combine everything. In this case, we have developed fleet optimization to help our customer improve their operations, but also make their everyday life easier. And also to reduce the environmental impact of their business. And that's what we see when we did this pilot together with our customer, where one of them is Semex. We use the fleet optimization feature in two ways. One is via the desktop, we can set graphs up which show you idling time, poor performing machines. So we use that as an indicator of where to go and what to look for through the OEM websites for, for more information and to discuss that issue with our operators. The data for all your idling time on every machine is there. You can log into your system and pull out the data and have it on your monthly meeting and show it. The hard thing is to get your operator or drivers engaged to actually pull off a change. What we have done is to build a gamification solution that the operator in first hand in their mobile device every day when they do a daily check or do a pre-start check or they do a refill see their ranking in the app. And that's what have been driving this change. And what we've seen here on some of our pilots we've seen up to 25% decrease of idling by doing this. The operators see their performance within the app. The operators can see where they fit in a performance table, fifth out of tenth, and hopefully they want to be first out of tenth, and so they'll improve their idling time, which gives us the benefit of improved cost of operation. For a lot of our customers, sustainability is one of the key topics that they're focusing on. This is also where Checkproof fleet optimization can be a big part of actually reaching this goal and reduce your CO2 footprint. Idling time, for example, is, is costly. The obvious one is fuel usage. You know, three, four litres of fuel per hour is now two, three, four, three pounds, you know, current prices. On top of that, you've got the maintenance issues, which will cost you even more. So subtly encouraging our operators to uh, perform against each other from a an idling perspective is, is uh, really good news. So what it's designed to do is reduce your losses, reduce your wastage, and that's what we focus on. The reality for our customer is a lot of cases they have a mixed fleet. They don't only have one brand. And that was one of the challenges when we should look at building the fleet optimization features. What we've done here is to build integration against a lot of different suppliers to be able to pull in the data from them to telematics where you already have the idle time. If you're a manager, you don't want to log into 10 system to be able to get a report. So by bringing the data from the telematics supplier directly into Checkproof, we are able to compare machine data across different brands on an easy way. Me as a founder is really proud of the way that we have developed this solution together with our customers. First of all, see the savings that we can achieve but also that we actually could make a change of the CO2 footprint by utilizing this feature. To be a part of building a sustainable industry for the next generation to come makes me really proud.